This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Today we're going to talk about 5 Blender add-ons that can help you work on your projects using different tools and features. Number 5. A boomerang. This is an add-on in which you can draw 3D meshes using the grease pencil. The initial idea is based on the approach of traditional sculpture from a set of clay pieces that generates a unified sculpture. It thus provides 7 pencils allowing to generate 3D pieces of clay and each pencil having its own specificity. Behind its grease pencil stroke, there are hidden 3D meshes and it only depends on you to reveal it with your own creativity. So as you can see, this add-on is a new way of sculpting combining two different things which are the grease pencil and 3D sculpting to come up with this method that allows you to approach sculpting from a new perspective. Overall, this add-on can be generally speaking used for sculpting anatomy and organic modeling in addition to prototyping and concept sketching. Number 4. Brick Sculpt Brick Sculpt is an add-on for Bricker, which is a brick modeling and simulation tool for Blender available on the market. And it brings a whole new interface and toolset for sculpting, painting, and editing construction of logo brick sculpture made with Bricker. On the other hand, Brick Sculpt was designed to take Bricker's powerful brick modeling workflow to the next level, adding a suite of sculpting tools that will streamline the process of tweaking and customizing your brick model after they have been generated. With this add-on, you will be able to change the shape of your model, edit the model's construction, and paint new materials onto your model with ease. Number 3. Dynetopo Plus Dynetopo Plus is an add-on used for speed and management of dyno topology sculpting in Blender. It lets you edit and save dyno topology settings like details type, refine method, and resolution for the different needs and stages of your sculpt which you can use and reuse again with just few clicks without having to change the values every time. Also, it allows you to work faster in a full screen mode using your tablet with its by menu and minimalist UI. Some of the most important features of this add-on include the ability to save your workflow dynotopo settings and manage their order, and update or remove them for a linear workflow, in addition to a simple and functional UI for more pleasant work and learning experience. There is also a pie menu for added speed when working with tabs, and for some people this can be a really effective feature. There are also several features related to using masks. You can use Mask Extract to create sculpt assets from the mask areas of your main sculpt for rapid sculpt sketches, in addition to Mask Decimate to manage the resolution of the mask isolated areas to create a healthier viewport and boost sculpting speed. Also the Mask Smooth to smooth out isolated areas for more even and controlled smoothing. Number 2. Sculpt Wheel Sculpt Wheel is a Blender add-on that allows you to navigate and use Blender sculpting tools more effectively, like a Krita style wheel pop-up menu featuring sculpt mode brushes that are arranged around the pointer position in a circular way. But the Sculpt Wheel offers more functionality than just arranging the icons. Basically, you have an outer circle an inner circle and another circle in the center, and each one has its own tools. Sculpt Wheel's outer circle contains 14 sculpt mode brushes, which you can freely rearrange after activating an edit icon outside of the wheel. It even allows you to choose which brushes are going to be there, in addition to adding your own brushes as well. But you are not just limited to the default number of 14 brushes in the wheel, you can add as many of them as you want. And to be able to still see the wheel better or see your sculpts better, you can change the radius of the wheel. Sculpt Wheel's inner circle contains a number of shortcuts of the sculpt mode menus, such as stroke settings, fallout settings, and multiple mask operations. The center circle has basically two functions. First, it functions as a tooltip display when you move your mouse over the UI elements. The second function of the center circle is to pad an active and an interactive mode for adjusting brush size. Number 1. Speed Sculpt Speed Sculpt is an add-on that will help you to make your sculpting as fast and easy as possible, because it allows you to create very fast characters using Dianotopo sculpting with booleans, cut curves, skin modifier, decimate, masks, and so on. Usually when you sculpt in Dynetopo you have to go into edit mode or object mode to perform some operations, but this add-on allows you to make those operations directly in your current mode. It also gives you a lot of tools to do everything you need to create and sculpt your model 
whether it be simple or complex. Some of the most important features we can talk about include the ability to create primitives, curves, add a mirror, make auto-parenting, etc. You can use metaballs and convert them to combine them with your mesh. You can also create curves and make a mesh from them to convert them to a skin mesh, which is a fast method of generating mesh when creating certain shapes. You can create bones and convert them to make your character's base form real quick instead of using basic geometry to do that. With Decimate, you can optimize your dine topple sculpt and have a lighter mesh to continue your sculpt. You can also choose which part will be decimated with the mask as well. And after you are finished sculpting your character, you can add a quick pose to adjust it. If you want to learn more about how to use Blender and other 3D and design software, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. For example, you can find a lot of classes that can help you learn 3ds Max, Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, or ZBrush. There are a lot of classes about Blender, and I recommend this one called Bring Your Illustrations to Life with Blender 3D. It will teach you how to turn your illustrations to 3D characters and environments. Also, if you want to learn about ZBrush, there are many classes including this one that will teach you how to sculpt Kratos, the God of War, in ZBrush. In addition to all the concepts and tools you need in order to have a solid grip over sculpting in general. And the good thing is, it is very affordable because you just need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. For a limited time, use the link in the description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.